Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Irish Feeder. It's been very cold all week. Uh, we've had a deep frost all week and a lot of lakes are just frozen. So I decided to stay at home and do a bit of filming here. I'm gonna talk you through a, a Granby today, okay? Because I think that's very important. Uh, mm. As you can see, I have a good selection here of Marcel van der Neu mixes. Um, this one here is Gold Pro. This one here is Secret. This one here is Super Cup. This one here is uh, Super Crack Roach. And this one is a G5. Uh, what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna mix them, uh, or separate anyway. I'm gonna mix a handful of each gram bait and as you can see, I have a tank over here filled up with the water. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix them in kind of like a two stages, okay? Uh, quite dry, the way I like it. And another uh, stage would be like overweight gram bait, okay? And we're gonna try them in a tank. I'm gonna fill up the, the feeder throw it into the tank and see what's it like. Because I think this is very important. Uh, we have to know what's happening in our swim once the feeder hits the surface of the water and what's happening while it's sinking right down to the bottom, okay? I think that's very important. So stay with me and enjoy. Now guys, the, the first ground bait we're going to try it is uh, it, it's a G5, okay, it's a, it's a dark mix, okay, and it's uh, dedicated for uh, skimmers and roach, okay, so I think it might be quite active mix uh, with some bigger particles in it, okay, which I can see it is like uh, what can I say about the smell? It's hard to say really. Bit of a chocolate flavour I think and some other spices but it's hard to say what exactly it is. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put uh, a small amount in that, into that box, okay? Just a handful of mix. And let's put it away and put a bit of water in it. Now I have that done the way I like it, so it's 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 a bit overwetted at the start. Now now I'm going to leave it for about ten to fifteen minutes. Of, okay, let the mix absorb all the water, and then it should be fine to use. So 
I'll be back soon. Now guys, I gave that mix about 15 minutes time, so it should be all right to use. I didn't push it through the riddle, like it's, there's no need to. Uh, but anyway, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna, I have a, a helicopter rig on it, and I just put the feeder on it, okay? So what we're gonna do is just fill up that feeder with the mix, just like that. Squeeze it gently, and I'm gonna throw it into the tank, and we'll see what's it like. Now, as you can see, this mix is quite active. Like there's some particles lifting up, as you can see, as expected, because it is dedicated for road. So it makes a little cloud at the bottom. And let's say like this feeder is nearly empty. We give that another maybe 10, 20 seconds. So as you could see, it was losing the particles while it was sinking. And now let's pretend we're gonna take the feeder out of the water and see what happened. It is a bit cloudy. So now let's put more water in it. And I'm gonna over wet that ground base. Now let's have a look what's it like when it's over wetted. I'm just gonna throw into that corner there so we can just so we can see it. Now, as you can see, it didn't make that much of a cloud when it, while it was sinking. And it's slowly breaking down, as you can see. There's still some particles rising up. It must be a hemp or something like that. I'd say it is like a cross hemp or something. Very slowly breaking down. Try to move that feed around and see. So as you could see, it didn't make like a cloud. Now guys, let's move on and another ground bait uh, which is super crack road okay now this ground bait is dedicated for roach fishing uh, it should be very active mix that's what I think but we have a look in a minute now there should be loads of hemp crushed hemp and stuff like that in it what about the smell 
it's definitely coriander smell in it so it is mixed for roach so same again let's put it in the box small amount some water in it I think I put too much water in it so I put a bit more brown right in there Yeah, it's very strong coriander smell. It should be good for roach. Well, it is because I, I know because I'm using it. Now, same again. We have to give it that mix a bit of time, maybe 10, 15 minutes. Let the absorb all that water and then we'll try in a tank. Now, guys, let's have a look what's like. So I'm going to push into the feeder. I don't squeeze really too hard, even when I'm fishing, because I want to uh, empty that feeder as quick as I can. As you might be getting bites straight away once the feeder hits the bottom or something, and I want this feeder to be empty. Right, so that's the dry mix anyway, dry forced. It is very active, as it says. Makes a bit of cloud. And look how quick is just emptying the feeder. Some particles rising up, going up, same as G5, I think. Not a big difference in that. And that feeder is nearly empty, as you can see. Now let's pretend we're going to take the feeder out of the water and see what's it like. So, in my opinion, it's near enough to G5, but it's just different smell, that's for sure. It's a more coriander smell so it's it'll be great for oat now what i'm gonna do is now i'm gonna overwet that ground bait as, as you can see make it like a collag mix as you can see it's is over wet it. And now let's push it into the feeder. And we'll see what's it like in a tank. So same again, same as G5, it's breaking down very slowly when it's over with it. It's not making really like a better cloud or something like that when it's over with it. So that's why I like to use ground bait like kind of on the dry side, if you know what I mean. Yeah, it's breaking down very slow. Now, um, 
we might just give another 30 seconds or something like that. I try to move that feeder a bit and see what's happening. It does make a bit of a cloud when you shake the feeder. And let's say we want to take the feeder out of water and see what's like, you know? So in my opinion, it makes better cloud at the end when you take the feeder out of the water, as you can see. Right guys, let's try another ground bait. Now another ground bait, uh, it's going to be a supper cup. Same again, it's a dark mix. Uh, what does it say in the bag? It says it's for Roach, Perch, Rood and Bream. And it's for lakes and canals. So it's quite like a versatile ground bait, okay, for any type of fish. What about the smell? It's hard to say, I can smell a bit of uh, something like a hen, a bit of chocolate, but there's also something sweet in it. It's a good ground bait, like, I do like that ground bait to be honest, and, but we check, we check what's it like in the tank, what's it like on the water, so same again, smell a bit into that box. I can see this ground bait is is quite fine. It's not it's not as uh, let's say roach, the super crack roach. There was more particle particles in it. Okay, like this one is it's fine. There's nothing, no big particles in it really. To be honest. Right, okay, so same again, we're probably going to have to give that mix a bit of time, and just maybe 10-15 minutes. And, and then we're going to check in the tank, okay? Now, let's have a look what it looks like in the water. So, push it into the, into the feeder, so it's a dry forest. Now we throw it in. Now, same as it is quite active again, like some particles lifting up, you can see them going up. Now I think I push into the feeder a bit harder, so it's, it's breaking down slowly. But uh, it looks it looks good. Looks good for me. breaking down, it's breaking down. I think it looks great.
Now it's almost gone. The mix is almost gone out of the feeder. So now let's take the feeder out and see what it's like. Let's pull it out. Nice, nice mix. As you can see, there's no big particles in it. Like, let's say we have, I wonder would you be able to see it? That's the, uh, <clears throat> that's the super crack road is beside. And as you can see, there's much bigger particles in that mix. And that's the super cup. It's a fine gram bait. It'd be much better for winter. But you can use it all year round, to be honest, like, like I do. Perfect. And now let's see what's it like when it's over with it. Now, I'm gonna throw it there beside. So that's like when it's over with it. So it's the same as other ground baits really, when it's over with it, it's break down slowly. Still, some particles are rising up, going up. <clears throat> it's breaking slowly. Let's move that feeder a bit. does make a bit of a cloud as you can see when I move that feeder and now let's pull it out it's quite active mix Now guys, our next mix is Gold Pro Green Classic, as you can see, and this mix is in natural colour. It's like a browny colour, something like that. And this ground bait is dedicated for hybrids and skimmers, okay. Uh, let's see, I can see there's more bigger particles in it. As expected, because it's dedicated for bigger fish. Well, let's open up and see what's the smell like. Again, it's hard. It's hard to really say like what's in it, but it's a sweet mix. It's much sweeter than than the rest of the ground baits, anyway. 
let's put it in the box and have a look what's it like in the water. That should be enough. Yeah, there's much bigger particles in that, and I can see there's uh, there's a lot of sweet corn or some old maize like crushed. Yeah. So let's put it away. Put a bit of water in that. This mix is actually getting darker. It's it's getting darker when it's wet. It is like a kind of like a brown color when it's wet. I might say that should be enough. So same again, you're gonna get that mix a bit of time to absorb all that water. 15 minutes or something and then we see what's like in the tank. Now well, guys, I give that mix a bit more time uh, and I can tell straight away this mix is quite heavy, okay? And be careful when you mix it because it can be quite sticky, okay? So be careful with that. It's loads of big particles, like it's a lot of maize in here. I can see it some different type of grains or whatever it is but uh yeah it's a lot heavier mix and it's it'll be great in the summertime when you target a bigger fish so let's have a look what's it like in, under the water okay so push it into the feeder i'm not pushing it too hard now so it'll be dry forced, of course. Throw it in. It's breaking down slowly. But as you can see, it's not an active mix, okay? There's nothing really, there's nothing really rising up going up so that mix is definitely designed for better stamp fish bigger fish bream as you can see it's breaking down and it's just lying down at on the bottom there's not much rising up that could distract the bigger fish. Still breaking down, still breaking down. Um, let's move that feeder there. It's, it's nearly empty like. Now let's pull it out and see what's it like. As you can see, it's, it's, it's not as cloudy as the other mixes. So it's definitely designed for bigger fish. Right, let's have a look what's it like when it's over wet it. And I'll show you what's it like in the box, okay? As you can see, it is over wet it. Now let's put it into the feeder.
And let's throw it into the tank and see what's it like. It makes a better cloud when it was sinking down, when it's going down. But as you can see, this isn't an active mix at all. And it's breaking down very slowly. Try to turn that feed around just so we can see better. That's it there. It's breaking very slowly, very slowly. Probably going to take five or seven minutes to empty that feed or so we're not going to wait that long but uh, i wouldn't use that gram bait when it's overwetted to be honest there's there's no point to use overwet gram bait like that let's move that feeder It could be cloudy, like when it's overwetted, but it's just breaking down so slow. Well, as you can see, everything is going down right down to the bottom. There's nothing really rising up. And it's still into in in the feeder, as you can see. Still breaking out slowly. So yeah, I probably I wouldn't recommend to use that ground bait over it anyway. It, it doesn't look good for me unless you're waiting like 10 15 minutes for the bite and you don't want activity in the water maybe the, that's the way it is but i wouldn't like that anyway let's pull it out and move on to another ground bait now guys uh Let's have a look on the uh, another ground bait, which is a Secret. Okay, uh, Secret is dedicated for roach, as it says. And there's a picture of the roach on the back, as you can see. Uh, it's it's a dark mix, and but I can say it's a very fine mix. Okay very fine it's nearly like a flower or something like that if you know what i mean let's have a look what it says on the bag because as far as i know this uh, ground bait is good uh, for winter okay and it says it could be mixed with turbo and you can add some caramel into it and, and it'd be great turbo turbo it's it's again it's quite heavy mix it's designed for a better style of fish bigger fish like brain and stuff like that uh, so what that tell me is it shouldn't be an active mix uh, but uh, especially roach and brain 
fishing water across Europe you can only be president. Yeah, it's dedicated for clean water. So so I think it's gonna be like what well, I know because I do use it in the winter. It's good for winter, okay, when the water gets clear and stuff like that. Let's open up and see what's the smell like. say but to be honest this reminds me of the uh, census grand village uh, roach uh, the gross gross gardens it's quite chocolate chocolate it's quite chocolate smell in it and it might be uh, a bit of hemp or something like that yeah but it's definitely a chocolate so once again, it's a roach mix, but it's very fine and it's dedicated uh, to using the clear water, which is, let's say now in the winter, that should be fine. So let's put it in the box. I wonder what's it like under the water. Is it cloud, cloudy or not? Or well, That should be well enough. Yeah, to be honest, this grand beige reminds me of grass gardens from Sensas, okay? But it's it's fine. Like grass gardens would have bigger particles in it. This one, not really. Only a few, and I can see, yeah, there is a, there is a hemp, crushed hemp, okay? Crushed hemp. Chocolate, definitely chocolate flavor, okay? So let's put a bit of water. Not much, because this mix is quite fine, so. And I can say straight away, this mix could be very, uh, very sticky. So once again, be careful when mixing. And it's quite heavy again, like. Put a bit more water in there. Yeah, chocolate, chocolate and hemp. That's all I can smell, really. Right, guys, so same again. We're gonna leave that mix for about 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, and then we see what's like under the water. Now, guys, we have the mix ready. Okay. Uh, I think there's some sunflower in there as well. Sunflower seeds. Loads of uh, hemp. So it is dedicated for roach. Now I show you, as you can see. quite dry okay so let's push it into the feeder not much not don't push it too hard I never do that because once again once the feeder hits the bottom I want to empty the feeder as quick as I can okay that's why that's why I like it kind of dry and I never push it too hard into the feeder if you know what I mean now let's throw into the tank and see what's like. Now, boom. So it is quite active mix again. There's some particles going up and down and Quite active mix, not much cloud. That's why it's, they're, they're saying that uh, mix with turbo, it's, it'd be great for bigger stem fish because it doesn't really give too much cloud. 
but it is quite active. I wouldn't, I wouldn't think it's going to be that. Yeah. It's nearly empty. That feeder is nearly empty, as you can see. Some particles going up and then they're sinking down, back down again. I hope you, you can see that. So yeah, that's that's a good mix for roach, I'd say. Now let's pull it out and see what's it like. It does make a cloud. Loads of activity. Great for old, I think. Now let's overwet that ground bait and see what's it like. Let's push it into the feeder and see what's it like in the tank. Just have to wash my hand. Right, okay, let's throw into the tank. So same again, let's break it down slowly. And once it's over wet, there's not that many particles going up and down, as you can see. Same again, probably going to take about five minutes to seven minutes to, to empty that feeder. When it's over with it. Let's move that feeder, see what's like. It's cloudy. cloudy enough when it's over water. But as you can see, it's breaking down very slowly. But it does make like a nice cloud that might attract like a small fish, maybe small roach or something. So yeah, I can say, what I can say is, it, it is a quite active mix. As it says in the bag, it's for old, so it has to be. Now let's pull it out and see what's it like. Well guys, a few words at the end, uh, I think I forgot to mention that uh, that there's no fish meal on any of them ground baits, okay? Uh, the other thing is, uh, there's some, some of the mixes are quite active and some of them are not. As you can, as you could see, 
like Gold Pro, this, which is this one here, is dedicated for bream, okay? And there's a lot of bigger particles in it, and it's not active really at all. Uh, once your feed, feeder hits the bottom, it's just lying down at the bottom and nothing really rising up and going down and up and down. And so it's it's dedicated for bream, which is which is right. Uh, same as Super Cup. Super Cup it's uh, it's a bit more active than Gold Pro, but it's same again. It's it could be used for bream, as it says, it is for bream, okay? Now, these other mixes like Secret, uh, Super Crack Roach, and the G5, they're quite active mixes, okay? Some of them are has like the bigger particles in it, some of them are not. <clears throat> some of them are, could be more cloudy, some not, so some some of these ground baits like especially secret and and a gold pro they're quite heavy okay and they could be very sticky so be careful when you're mixing them uh, what else super crack roach it's it's a coriander coriander flavor <clears throat> so it's it, it's good for roach uh, very active mix Secret, it's very similar to Sensus, uh, which is the, the Gross Gardens one, okay? Kind of like a chocolate flavor, and it has a lot of crushed hemp in it as well. Brain, the Gold Pro, it's very kind of like a sweet, sweet mix, and it has loads of maize and crushed barley I think or something like that loads of different uh, grains okay super cup it's hard to say it's kind of sweet but I can I can smell a bit of chocolate and some other things it's hard to it's hard to say what, what's what's in it to be honest g5 it's like a very versatile ground bait for any fish okay so yeah very good mixes. I use them all year round, mix them together and try different things and stuff like that. I think they're very good mixes. They're very popular here in Ireland anyway. And the next video will be about census ground bait, okay? Because same again, they're very popular here in Ireland and it'll be great to know what they're like. And, and then we can tell the difference in between those mixes okay so keep an eye on the, the channel and thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed that and i will see you next time okay don't forget to subscribe subscribe to the channel please thanks guys and see you next time